Well, from the light show at Ruoff Music Center to a new family train ride at the Indiana State Museum, you don't have to look far to celebrate the season in Indianapolis. And for more on jostling uh, for your holiday dollars and uh, the impact on Central Indiana organizations, pleased to be joined by IBJ editor Leslie Wyden-Benner. And Leslie, welcome. Thank you. I know you've got a, Good another, to be here. Yep, another edition chock full. And we're going to start there. We're going to talk about the holidays. But Duke Energy, interesting stories. You really look a little more in depth at Duke uh, uh, Energy's uh, energy power generation plan. And I know there's a lot of focus on uh, them going away from coal fired plants as well. They hope to be almost completely away from coal by 2035. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is there's a group of elected officials and environmentalists, and we're talking about Republicans too, like the mayor of Carmel, Jim Brainerd, mm -hmm. mayor of Lafayette, who are concerned that they won't be able to reach their goals for reducing emissions if Duke isn't doing enough. And they are pushing Duke to do that a lot faster. So our reporter, John Russell, has the details about that. Yeah, that will be an interesting one to, to, to read for sure. Industry 4.0, that next generation uh, of, of industries and technology, robots, cobots, all those types of things. I know Connexus did a, an in-depth study, and you're going to go more in-depth on that and how more Indiana companies are really embracing it. Yeah, there's been a huge change just over the past year uh, in the number of companies that are trying to embrace high-tech uh, options, mm -hmm. and one of those is Cobots. And they're fi finding that more and more companies are using Cobots to do a lot of the work that you might otherwise have employees. But what's great about Cobots is that they actually use employees and the robots mm -hmm. to do work together. Uh, our reporter Susan Orr goes into a lot of detail with several companies about how this is working for them. Yeah, fascinating. I know Vincennes University really engaged in that, uh, those cobots in a big way. Uh, also, a final one, we'll look at the holiday attractions. Uh, always a, a fun time of year. And these holiday attractions are really attracting big crowds this year. Yes, things are up in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. uh, I think things are up 200%. Sales are up some 200% at the Chris Kindle Mart in mm -hmm. Carmel. And then, and there's a lot of new attractions mm -hmm. every year. It feels like there's something new. There's a new train ride at the State Museum. And then in addition to that, there's a light show at Ruoff Music Center. Yeah, very good. Hey, before we leave, uh, news broke late in the week, uh, Leslie, on a new state revenue report, which shows the state has, uh, has a lot of money in, yeah, in the bank. Billions yeah. of dollars that they didn't know that they were gonna have to spend yeah. yet in this two-year budget. I think what you're gonna see is some tension play out between the House and the Senate. I think House Republicans are really gonna wanna cut some taxes, mm -hmm. uh, spend a little bit of that money, mostly to give back to Hoosiers. I think you're gonna see Senate Republicans are gonna be a little more conservative about mm -hmm. that and maybe want to hold on to it. It will be interesting to watch, interesting to read in the IBJ this week, of course. And you'll see news from around Indiana, from inside Indiana business in the IBJ as well. Leslie, as always, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks so much for having me.